Hey, it's your girl Chow coming at you with this makeup tutorial right here. We are gonna be using the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Woo! Hashtag not spons, but I did get this early before most people. This is highly, highly, highly anticipated and it is just something that is dear to my heart. It's, it's beautiful. I have the privilege of getting it before most people and I am very super duper excited to show you how I got this look right here. Giving you these nice rust, Grand Canyon, copper, whatever you want to feel about this eye, smoky eye, today. This look took me about, I would say about 10 minutes. So it's really quick, really easy, good for any skin type. So you got light, you got medium, you got dark. Anybody can do it and you can too. And I'll also be sharing my thoughts at the end of the video, how I feel about the eyeshadow quality and the blendability and all the things like that. I will be 110% honest with you guys because I told you I ain't getting paid for this. And even if I did get paid for this, I'm gonna let you know the truth. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off with sauce using this blending brush from Sonia Kashuk. I don't know, I got it in like a kit. I'm noticing when I'm picking up the product that there's a lot of kick up, but I'm used to that with Urban Decay eyeshadows. So I'm just gonna take this and put it like right on my crease. And because I have hooded eyes, I like to bring it up a little bit more towards the brow bone so you can see the color. And this is just gonna be a base for the smoky eye. Nice. So the brush that it comes with, I really, really like it. I'm gonna take the flat, not so pointed brush and I'm gonna go in with He Devil. I'm gonna focus this on to the center of my lid and what I'm gonna do is pat this in. Oh yeah, that pigment dough. Reason why you wanna pat it in is so that you get the most concentration. If you sweep it on, it'll go on more sheer and we want this to be a nice, deep, smoky eye. You feel me? So I'm just gonna work in layers and then also bring it up to the crease. Oh, hell yeah. Going back in with that Sonia Kashuk brush, I'm just gonna blend the He Devil shadow out. Boom. So we're gonna just make this a little bit darker. I'm gonna take this MAC 239 brush and I'm gonna go in to En Fuego and I'm just gonna work this onto the lower half of my lid and remember to just pat it in. And because these shadows are really soft and they do have a lot of kick up, make sure to tap off your brush so that way it doesn't fall onto your face. A lot of times what I do is I'll put on my eyes first before I do my face if I'm doing a smoky eye, but I didn't want to look crassy, too crassy, you know? So I did put on my face first, just for the sake of time. All right, and because this shadow called Ember is like calling my name, it's like a nice metallic, I'm actually gonna layer it right on top of En Fuego. Same brush, don't matter, just pat. Gave a little bit of something, something. Now let's work on the bottom lash line. So pretty much what you do on the, your top lid, you're gonna do probably like half of it on the bottom lash line. So I'm gonna go back in with sauce on the pointed part of the Naked Heat brush and just work that on the lower lash line and just smoke it out. So bring it down. A lot of times what I like to do is this so I know kind of where to stop. So right in the ball here, I'm gonna just stop right there. Right, so taking my Morphe B79 brush, I'm gonna go in with He Devil, and I'm just gonna work that on the outer third of my lower lash line. I'm just gonna sweep it on. Okay, and just to deepen up the lash line even more, I'm gonna go in with En Fuego, same brush, and I'm just gonna go right over top of He Devil. Boom. And this look cannot be completed without adding some liner. So I'm gonna be taking the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the color Bourbon. I don't have any of their new liners. Pero, I don't wanna use that anyway, so. Let us line. We're gonna line the lower water line and kind of smudge it out a bit. And we're also gonna do our tight line. 
boom. That's one eye, let's do the other. Boom. So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and apply mascara. And for mascara, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline The Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. And I have black as black, I have no idea. It's just a black mascara, all right? So because I want a little bit more of a brow highlight and also an inner corner highlight, first I'm gonna go in with Chaser and I'm gonna use that as my brow bone highlight. Let's see what this does for me. Okay, that does nothing, but that's okay. That's why we're trying this on. I'm gonna go in with Ounce. Let's try that instead. All right, there we go. That's better. Oh, and I'm also taking a Total Intensity 03 Pointed Liner Brush right on the brow bone here i think chaser is more of my like skin tone color it looks lighter in the pan but i guess powders tra transform a little differently on the face i don't know that is okay we're gonna use this on the inner corner too cool now let's do our mascara on the bottom lashes now that these guys have a set i'm gonna take the mirror of the palette and look up so I don't get any mascara on my face and because you know me I ain't gonna go out anywhere without my lashes so I'm just gonna take my Ardell wispy lashes and apply them to my eyes shake it shake it shake it <sighs> what's good I'm just gonna take my little eyelash tweezers here and just pinch my real lashes to my real real lashes together you see what i did there boom ah. gonna take my urban decay all-nighter setting spray and just separate out of her so let's do this i don't like the smell everyone says there ain't no smell to this but i smell something time for the lips Okay, so I'm just gonna take a rando lip color. I'm thinking, cause we have this smoky eye, we're gonna do a nude. So I'm just taking, this is Kat Von D's bow and arrow. I don't own an Urban Decay lipstick. I'm sorry. I own lip liners, but I'm not gonna use it today cause we're just gonna do this. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do the lips real quick. This is the final look right here. Giving you them Grand Canyon vibes, giving you them Sienna vibes, giving you that Rust vibes. So what are my thoughts on this palette? Thank you, Urban Decay. I love this. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I love the consistency of these eyeshadows. They are easy to blend. It took literally, 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 it took like 10 minutes to do because it was just so easy to blend. I didn't have any fallout on my face, okay? And look, I'm not a professional by any means, okay? It's really, really awesome. It is just like their single eyeshadows. It is just like the Naked One eyeshadow palette, which is my favorite from them. I, like, that is OG holy grail right there but this one it's still in the spot because i mean come on do you see this the packaging a1 excellent it is this hard durable plastic so you drop this junk which god forbid i will never drop you baby i'm sorry i will never drop you i, I don't even know why i joke like that i love you but anyway look at this it is a1 sauce like look at this all these colors a1 you know what and fuego look like a1 sauce right there <laughs> so you, you doing it, Urban Decay. You doing it. I love it. I, I, it's my baby. I ain't gonna cry right now because I am not wearing waterproof mascara. And you know, because you've seen it in the tutorial. It, I didn't say waterproof, okay? Uh, it's, it's a beautiful palette. I will recommend this to every single person. And I will just let you know right now, I'm not being paid for anything, okay? You know, it's for every skin tone because you got your light colors, you got your medium colors, you got your dark colors. You could do whatever you want with this palette. And it's it's really great that they did this. Um, it's different from all their other palettes. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Urban Decay, thank you. I will give you any updates that I have with the product because I know it is brand spanking new. 
Um, you can follow me on my social media, especially Instagram. I'm very active on there, so you can see different eye looks that I'm going to be using with this palette because I will not stop. I will take this with me everywhere if I go travel because it's just, it's everything. It's everything. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me on all the social media down below here. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or what you would like to see next. And thank you for watching my tutorial on the new Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Bye. Throw the goo on the lashes. Throw the goo. Goo. Throw the glue on them lashes. Throw the glue on them lashes. Geet. Geet. Glue in the lashes, glue in the lashes, glue in the lashes so they won't fall. You gotta glue on the lashes, make them the lashes, make them the lashes really tall. Like my